Now one is super simple, the other one's a little more advanced. Actually there's three ways, but I'm only gonna be talking about two. Now I've been having issues with this for as long as I can remember, and I finally figured out the easiest way to do it. So to save you guys a headache, because I know it's super annoying, I'm gonna give you the super simple way first. So as you can see, I'm in my plugins section and I have 29 plugins total and only seven active. Now after doing some research, I realized that WordPress isn't as simple as it's made out to be. There's actually five different, 5,000 different parts to make WordPress work in general on the installation. So with that being said, every time you download a plugin, if the plugin isn't compatible with your version or updated version of WordPress or the plugin itself isn't updated, then there's some conflicting stuff going on there. So that sometimes usually causes the problems with the image error whether it be like you go in your library and all the images has error images on them or you, you click on the image it's just blank you can't see it but you're able to edit it or you post the image in a blog post or a page and it shows up blank or just the error shows up on their on the live site so the, f the first thing you want to do to combat this um this problem is go to your plugin and disable you just select all of them bulk action deactivate and apply now if you have a lot of plugins it's probably going to be annoying to go back through but this is the easiest way to fix this. Like it's worked for me like 95% of the time. So once you disable all the plugins, you go to your media and you can see if it starts working. Now if you disable all your plugins and nothing changes here after you refresh the, the, the website and everything, then you're gonna go to the next step because usually if the, if the plugins are disabled, then it indicates that nothing's wrong with any of your plugins or nothing's out of date or in a, some, in a place that it's not supposed to be. So if that doesn't work, then you're going to go to your, your hosting provider. In this case, I'm going to be using Bluehost because I've been using them forever and I'm too lazy to switch. So once you go to your hosting provider, so you can see I'm using Bluehost on the front page right here. This this method I'm going to go over is going to be in the file manager. There's a third way to use this with PHP my admin, but some, that one's a little more complicated. I don't want to go with it because usually the problem is fixed after you're disabling your plugins and reactivating them one by one to figure out which one is affected. So you're going to go to your, your advanced cpanel on your hosting provider and click on file manager once you click on file manager it's going to take you to this page if you have multiple different websites or domain names across this one hosting provider you get, you're going to go on the left side and you're going to select which one if you don't know which one it is and you don't have the php admin uploaded like this one right here says biztech media i can just click that one and go in there but for this example i'm just going to assume that you have multiple domain names so you're going to go on the left side down here and this is where you can see all your domain names at once. So you're going to click public underscore HTML. When you click that, it's going to open up all the different domain names and website that you've built through your hosting provider. Now, in this case, this website is what? Biztech.marketing. So I'm going to click on Biztech, the drop down arrow. You can see it's opened. And when you come in here, you're going to want to go on WP dash content. Now, the content is what you upload into your website. I'm sorry, I'm going over this Barney style to make sure nothing goes wrong. So you're going to click the plus sign on that, scroll down, and you're going to go to Uploads. You're going to click on Uploads. Actually, you can just click on Uploads and it opens everything over here. Now on Uploads, I'm going to go to the Gallery, the 2019 folder. I'm going to open that. And you can see in here, there's two folders, 10 and 11. Now, this one is obviously bigger, 12 kilobytes versus 4 kilobytes. This one, number 10, is empty. Number 11 actually has all my image upload in it. Now, you can see I already changed all of these to fix the problem because one time it was actually this is the problem. So, you want to change the permissions to these folders to 755 or 745. Now, that being said, it doesn't really matter why it's 755. So pretty much on the down and dirty, these codes just mean it gives you the ability to read and write and who can access your photos and change makes changes to them. So that's what that is. And you'll see that later on. But you don't need to worry about that. You just need to change the numbers. Sometimes you come in here and it's like 644 or 5 or whatever, whatever. You're going to change it. So the way to change that is you can select all. You can go to permissions, scroll down, and you can see read everyone can read it only the user can write so you can change it so groups and rural can't edit it that's why it's unselected and execute okay so you can change the permissions to whatever so if you don't want the groups and rural to be able to execute i can change it to 744 and that's why it's 744 745 usually one of these works so i'm just going to cancel it and i don't want to do that but sometimes in these folders even if you change the entire folder to the permission that you wanted 744 or 745 the files inside the folders are still messed up. So 
I'm gonna go here and as you can see I have a lot of images uploaded here and you can see these images reflected in the library itself so what will you do if you want to just bulk upload it because some of these are actually affected some of these 0644 and all that stuff some of them don't work and those are already deleted so what you would do same thing to fix all these images at once you would click select all go to permission scroll all the way down to the bottom and change it to either 744 or 745 and to do that all you have to do is click or unclick these two boxes and then change the permission the permission to whatever you want now when you do that it's going to automatically save it then you can go back to your website and you'd usually refresh and you'll see all your images your images should be fine now i hope that works if that doesn't work for you guys i can go over the third way but i'm not going to do that in this video because it's super complicated now if this doesn't work for you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what your problem is or the error code that you get and i'll try to help you if it does work drop a thumbs up let me know it works and thanks for watching catch you guys later peace